Hello, hello. Hi, this is Yi Chun Wang, and welcome back. This this video is about R type map, which is a slam, slamming package in RAS. R type is a graph based slab approach, and its full name is real time appearance based mapping. It's a RGBD slam approach based on global loop closure detector with real time constraints. And this package is very, very powerful, I would say. You can either have RGBD camera or stereo camera. And it's better, I mean, it's not necessary to have a ring, laser range finder, but it will just make your life way more easier. And um, R-Tab map could be divided into to end front end and back end. The front end of R type map focuses on sensor data used to obtain the constraints that are used for feature optimization approaches. Only odometry constraints and loop closure constraints are used. So even though many other graph stamps use landmark detection constraints, R type map doesn't use it. So the odometry constraints can come from wheel encoders, IMU, LiDAR, or visual odometry. Visual odometry is accomplished using 2D features such as speeded up robust features or surf. R type map requires an RGBD camera or stereo camera to compute the geometry constraints between the images of a loop closure. A laser range finder can also be used to improve the geometric constraint by providing a more precise location. And the front end also involves graph management, which includes nodes creation and loop closure detection using bag of words. Loop closure detection is a process of finding a match between the current and previously visited location in SLAM. The back end of our type map includes graph optimization and map generation. So loop closure could be divided into local and global. Many probabilistic robotics slab methods use local loop closure detection where matches are found between new observation and a limited map region. The size and location of this limited map region is determined by the uncertainty associated with the robot's position. This type of approach fails if the estimated position is incorrect. It is likely that the events in the real world that robots are operating will cause errors in the estimated position. In a global loop enclosure closure approach, a new location is compared with previously viewed locations. If no match is found, the new location is added to memory. As the map grows and more locations are added, the amount of time to check whether the location has been previously seen increases linearly. If the time takes to search and compare new images, to the one stored in memory becomes larger than the acquisition time, the map becomes ineffective. But our tab using global looping closure approach combined other techniques to ensure that the loop closure process happens in real time. And in our tab mapping, the loop closure is detected using back of words approach and the feature extraction method is called speeded up robust features or surf. Each feature has a descriptor has a descriptor associated with it. A feature descriptor is a unique and robust representation of the pixels that make up a feature. Comparing features Descriptors directly is time consuming, so vocabulary is used for faster comparison. This is where similar features are clustered together. 
the collection of these clusters represents the vocabulary. One feature descriptor is mapped to one. Hello? Hello? One feature descriptor is mapped to one vocabulary, and it's called quantization. At this point, the feature is now linked to a word and can be referred as a visual word. And when all features in an image are quantized, the image is now a bag of words. Then you know when a new query image came, you compare to the old database and you get a score of like which image it's more likely the new image belong to. If the score is high enough, higher than a threshold, you can conclude like a loop closure is detected. Then let's talk about memory management. When new image is acquired, a new node is created in a short-term memory. When creating a node, recall that features are extracted and compared to the vocabulary to find all of the words in the image, creating a bag of words for this nodes. Nodes are assigned a weight in the short-term memory based on how long the robot spent in the location, where longer time means a higher weighting. The short-term memory has a fixed size of S, so when the short-term memory reaches S nodes, the oldest nodes is moved to working memory to be considered for loop closure detection. And this is where the loop closure happens. The working memory size depends on a fixed time limit T. When the time required to process new data reaches T, some nodes of graph are transferred from working memory to long-term memory. As a result, the working memory size is kept constant. And oldest and less weighted nodes in working memory transferred to long-term memory before others. So working memory is made up of nodes seen for longer period of time. And Long-term memory is not used for loop closure detection and graph optimization. If loop closure is detected, neighbors in long-term memory of an old node can be transferred back to the working memory. This procedure is called retrieval. And after the loop closure is detected, the graph optimizer minimize the errors in the map. Then it can generate maps as 2D or 3D point clouds. And the traditional graph slam complexity is linear according to the number of nodes, which increases according to the size of the map. But as you seen for the memory management management strategy of our time map, the time complexity becomes constant. So now let's see how it works. And I will see you guys in next video for how it works.